I know it's been a minute since I did any type of vlog. Came on this bitch. Um, if y'all been checking the channel, I've been dropping little 10 minute clips that um, Xbox will only allow us to drop. So I have been gaming. I have been pressing the start recording thing. And I've been recording all types of gameplay. Right now, I'm playing Call of Duty Warzone. I got like two con. I got two recorded contents right now. So expect that to be on today. I'm finna upload them bitches right now. Just so y'all know, I ain't playing. I am on Warzone. <clears throat> Um, I think I recorded something else that I said I wasn't going to do. I forgot when I said I was going to do it, but I think I got that content up as well. Um, I'm only going to be on here for a little bit. I'm going to be on here for no hour or 30 minutes, nothing like that. I got a lot to do right now. Um, yeah, but yeah, there's a little bit of smoke out here. But I just decided to come on here, talk to y'all real quick for a little bit, you know what I'm saying, and then go back to doing what I was doing. But yeah, man, I hope y'all um like what I'm what I'm putting out there right now, you know what I'm saying. And just like I told y'all, I ain't the best at this. I don't strive to be the best, but I strive to have fun and play these games because that's all it's about, having fun, you know. I'm in a lot of Facebook groups that consist of Call of Duty, Forza Horizon 4, GTA, and a lot of them are in competition. They be talking crap, beefing over a freaking game that you're supposed to play and have fun. I don't do that. I'm not with all that. I just sit back, observe, and I just be like, you guys are straight clowns for even doing all this fussing and fighting for no reason. I'm a grown ass man. You're not finna see me on the book arguing with nobody about a game. You'll see me go over though and tell people, look, the reason why you broke and Forza Horizon 4 because you lazy. And it's facts. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, y'all. There's no reason for you to be broke on Horizon 4. There's no reason. And I'm always seeing people like, look at my I'm broke, I'm broke, I'm broke. Bro, stop buying cars. You know what I'm saying? Start sniping for rare cars. If you want to earn ten million dollars, um, buy the expansion packs. You know what I'm saying? Buy Fortune Island and buy Legoland. They literally give you money for the easiest task ever. On Fortune Island, you gotta find ten tre treasure chests. Each chest is worth a million credits. And then to do this. All you have to do is freaking do one event and then that treasure chest is going to pop up and then they're going to have to do these things, these clues that they put out that you're going to have to do and bam, you go get the treasure chest and then to get the next treasure chest, you do another event and then, and then after you do that event, they're going to pop out a clue, you do that clue. Bam, they go treasure chest. You get 10 treasure chests. The total of that is 10 million. It's a million each credit for each treasure chest. Let's get the expansion pack. That's what I did. Got the expansion pack. Legoland. Oh, also unfortunately, I think you get four cars. Once you get that, download it. Same with Legoland. You get Besides the Lego cars, you get four cars. The Lego cars come as you doing the missions of the game. And you also get money out the asshole by doing these. Okay. No lie. I completed 
14 on treasure chest in one day. And I made 20 million credits because I was doing the races, the events, and everything. My favorite event, y'all y'all should already know I'm a drift addict, so I'm always drifting up and down the mountain. You know? Um I gotta start um probably tonight. Um well not tonight. Later on today, I'ma have a um I'm gonna see it's Sunday too, so a lot of people should be on. Um I might start a drift event. The only reason why I haven't really started any drift events because not a lot of people have Fortune Island. If you are a guy who loves drifting on video games, you should have Fortune Island. Fortune Island is the best map to drift. Why? Because you got that huge mountain where me personally, I practice. I haven't been there in a long time to practice any of my drift vehicles that I have made that are new, but I plan on going back soon so I could test tune my drift vehicles on the mountain. It's the perfect place to do it. You're in there. You don't got to worry about, damn, I got to find another spot or just restart. No, it, is, it takes at least two to maybe about two minutes, two minutes and in, in some change just to get down that mountain. And then they have a couple other places where you could drift around the whole, like, literally, I drift around that whole map because it's just perfect. Whenever I'm, whenever I'm on Fortune 90, you could bet yourself all I'm doing is test, tune, and drifting. That's all I'm doing. When I'm on Legoland, I'm doing Legos. I'm finding, looking for Legos, doing the events, getting the Legos. And so forth and that. You know what I'm saying? Fixing up all my Lego house. You know? But um, I took a break on Legoland because that's when I started getting back into multiplayer. Started going into uh, card me's, drift me's, drag me's. You know what I'm saying? Because for a good while, I wasn't doing none of that. I was just focusing on the gameplay, getting my money up. I wasn't worried about going to no meetups or nothing. I was just getting my money up to prove a point to people. You know what I'm saying? You can't always buy your cars that, that you want. You can't always go to these meetups when you're broke and you don't have nothing to show for it. Before I even went to my first meet, I made sure I had at least 5 to $10 million in credits because I played the game. And by playing the game, I was able to get a lot of free vehicles and a lot of rare vehicles. Let me see. The, the Hoonigan RS. It's a Ford RS. I forgot what else it's called. But I think um, Ken Block has this car. And... Um, I sold that one for $15 million credits, you know, and at first, I was green, I was a noob, because I didn't know that these rare cars sold for that much, until I actually did my research, watched a lot of YouTubers, and then I was, then I realized, oh, so, okay, that's what I'm finna start doing, I'm finna start sniping rare vehicles, and that's what I've been doing, sniping rare vehicles, I snipe them, and I resell them, you know, or I play the game, and then I get free vehicles, like how I got my Supras, all three of my Supras came from playing the elimination game, they literally give you free vehicles, my three, no, my two 93 Impalas came from elimination, I have gotten at least 15 cars from the elimination itself. It's about playing the game. That's why I stress everybody. Play the game, man. Play the game. You will get a rare vehicle that you are unexpected to get. You will get money, a lot of money, if you just play the game. Just race it. What you expect to just somebody that hands you free money? 
oh, can y'all buy my car? It's for 30000 Like, dude, no. Play the freaking game. I'm not buying shit from you. Play the freaking game. I don't buy vehicles. Last time I bought a vehicle was probably maybe last year or the beginning of this year. It's probably the last time I bought a vehicle because I play the game. I play the game. Two, I have over 500 cars. I have no reason buying more cars. Actually, you know what? I bought a pack. A lot. I bought a pack. I think last month. No, two months ago, I bought a pack. I bought the Hot Wheel pack. Because they had the um, diesel truck on there. I had to buy that. I had to buy that. And it was cheap. It was cheap. It was cheap. I think I paid like $5 for it. $5, $10 for it. And any kid watching this, it's the summer. Go cut some grass. Make you $20 off of each yard. And go buy you some. Go buy you an expansion pack. Go buy you these car packs. You know what I'm saying? Like, for all the kids out there, it's the summer. Go cut you some grasses, man. Go get you some money. Because that's what I would have done if I was y'all age. Man, look. who, Man, when I was 13, 14, every summer, I made sure I had about 20 houses lined up. 20 houses lined up. I was making at least almost maybe like 350 a week. Just by doing, just by cutting grass. And for a 13 and 14 year old, that's a lot of money. Three, four hundred dollars, that's a lot of money for me. You know what I'm saying? So I was able to accumulate that wealth. And I had, and I have sisters, not have, I have sisters that help me and plant in my brain that, okay, you don't always have to spend your money. You need to learn how to invest your money and, and how to bring that money back. You know, so I always save my money, and then if I spent my money, I was investing in something that I know that I'm going to get the joy out of it, and I'm going to get something out of it. It might not garner me more money back, but it's going to garner me the pleasure to where I have something to do when I'm bored, and I don't want to do nothing. You know? Um, I just got to... Um, Stop begging people to buy your cars, man. I don't. I don't even like. Seriously, for the past two months, I haven't sold no vehicles. You know, um, I don't really. That's not even my forte. You know what I'm saying? To sell vehicles. That's not. Like, I'm there to race, race, race. Y'all want to drift, let's drift. Y'all want to drag, let's drag. Um, I have a lot of cars that I've been meaning to tune, test and tune, but I haven't got the options to do it because I just, I just got on. Well, I'm back on FM7, Forza Motorsport 7. So I just got back on there, and I'm doing a lot of things on there trying to get my um I'm not really like they gave me a couple of drift cars to where I could just hook them up and then I test and tune on the drift track and see what I need to improve to make it comfortable for my style and bam um I have two RTR Mustangs I have to um no I have one of them I have to do um I have a Mustang that I need to go ahead and turn into a, a, a drag monster. Monster. I have a Pontiac Trans Am. That's a drag monster. It's all-wheel drive. I have a Camaro all-wheel drive drag monster. I have a Hellcat all-wheel drive drag monster. And the reason why I make them all-wheel drive is because you have a better launch. It's less... um. It's less burning out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and then I have the Hunicorn, which is a monster on that game. It is a monster on that game. Especially if you can get the right tune on those gears. only got three gears right now. I still got to try to figure out the fourth gear to get it down packed. 
but that freaking car is a beast on the drag strip in the game. Even in real life, I don't know if y'all watch Hoonigan, y'all watching the This and That series, but y'all need to watch it from the beginning where Ken Block had the Hoonicorn and he was taking literally everybody up through there. Everybody got it. It don't matter what you had. Oh, you got 1200 Well, come get these 1400 and I'm going to beat you. And I'm going to beat you. And that's what he did. And, the, and, and then the only reason why they did that was because of us, guys. The Forza community. They started seeing that, hold on. These guys are literally taking the Hunacan. Instead of drifting it, they're drag racing it. And they're mudding people. They're beating people down to the floor. Then they put that in their brain. Like, you know what? We're going to do something for y'all. For y'all for showing us that, hold on, the Hunacan isn't just... A drift monster, it can also be a drag monster. And that's what they did. We knew what the Hunicorn could do. We just needed them to do it for themselves to show us that we was right. And they did. You know? So that right there. Um, but um I <laughs> I was gonna jump on last night, but I ended up falling asleep. You know, I was very tired. Like, I've been gaming all day yesterday. I'm about to be gaming all day today. You know what I'm saying? I'm just taking a break, um, a, a, break, a break from Warzone right now. Um, I'm going to try to get, like, one more match in, you know, and then I have to grab my groceries because I got groceries coming here soon in a little bit. So I got to do that. Hold on. What time is it? Um, three sixteen. Uh, sitting for type the fuck up. But yeah, guys. Um, that's what I have planned for y'all. Um, as soon as I get done with this, I will be I will be uploading it instantly, and then um, and then. Once this is fully done uploading, I will upload Warzone once this is done. The two the two videos that I got of Warzone. Um I just started last night, late last night. Well, actually might as well say this morning, because I started playing Warzone at five o'clock in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. And I should have recorded some content on that, but I wasn't thinking. So I just started recording content on it just now. But, um, yeah, I got that going on right now. Um, so I expect Warzone after this uploaded video. You know, like I said, I'm not, I'm checking the time. I'm on 18. I'm going to stop it at 20. I'm just trying to give y'all a little insight on why I haven't been dropping any vlogs lately because um, I've just been busy with everything. Um, I'm returning the camcorder back because I need a camcorder that already has the uh, YouTube app. So I ain't got to worry about spending a $100 on a laptop because I really just rather just have the app on the freaking camcorder which is the same price it's not much I bought this camcorder for like maybe 60 70 some dollars and that other camcorder that I need was like $89 with like a 15% discount because of my prime benefits so I'm just gonna do that get that so I can do everything in once at one you know what I'm saying and I don't have to just you know but yeah um what else uh, but yeah after Warzone I will be uploading the two Warzone videos hopefully I can get another match here in a little bit cause I got some chores I gotta do also I haven't really been also feeling well my anxiety has been crazy because uh 
Last month was my year anniversary of having um, this crazy ass anxiety attack. You know what I'm saying? So it's been a full year now. So I'm just. I have a lot of things that are in my, that's going through my brain that I just need to just stop thinking about it. Um, I've been doing this for almost a year without any medication at all. I stopped taking medication in July or set no September probably was the last time I took medication. So from September to now, I haven't took any medication at all. You know, um, thanks to my sister, I adapted and started taking Calm, which is a magnesium powder that helps calm the, um, that helps calm you down and stuff. So I've been doing that um, faithfully since, because, because before that, I wasn't popping, I mean popping, I wasn't taking anything before that. So for like a good maybe two, three months, I wasn't taking no pills. I wasn't taking no calm or nothing. But I was still, um, my place to be was outside. And if y'all go back to my first blog, first, second blog, I explained where I was at outside, you know. Um, and then from being out there where I was at on the front porch for about six, seven months, I had a little area. I had laid I had laid these down and then I had blankets laid out, pillows laid out, and I had and then I would just meditate all day long. And I would just be out here laid out, you know what I'm saying, and I'd just be chilling. I'd just be chilling, laid out. Um I'm either watching YouTube videos or I'm just laid out, <clears throat> excuse me, laid out and I'm just meditating, you know what I'm saying, not thinking about nothing, you know what I'm saying, um, and I did that. I did that for six months, seven days a week. For six months straight. I was out here. You know? Actually, you know what? Not six months. Hold on. April, May, June, July, August, September. Maybe eight months. From... Eight months from April to December. Eight months. Um, I had gotten sick. It was cold out here. I got sick. And the thing is, I had done everything. I made sure I had a heating pad and everything. But still, I still got sick. And um, I had to pack up my things and go inside. Because I had... A fever of a hundred and five, you know. So I didn't want to go to the hospital or anything because knowing them people, they gonna talk about I have freaking what's the name, and they gonna want to test me. And me, I ain't with all that. Them sticking up long freaking thing up my nose, and I just wasn't with it. Um, I drank a lot of freaking tea. A lot of ginger tea, lemon tea, and all that stuff. And I just beat it the way that I know how by seeing what my mama does. You know what I'm saying? Because when my mom gets sick, she don't go to the hospital. She knows what she has to do. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did. You know? So, um, yeah. Getting back on track. But, um, right now I'm focusing on... I know I have to do some cyberpunk gameplay, which is going to be sometime this week. <clears throat> I'm not sure. <clears throat> um, I'm going to start recording car meetups. 
Um, I messed up by not recording the last drag meet I was in. I met some real cool ass people. You know what I'm saying? Real cool ass young cats that were way mature for the age. That was just downright awesome as hell. So, um, whenever I get back on with dude that has started it, I'm going to record that car me so y'all can see for yourself how cool these little jit bugs are. You know what I'm saying? But, um... Oh man, let me show y'all what's going down tonight, y'all. Show y'all what's going down tonight, man. Y'all know what that is, man. If y'all don't know what that is, man, then y'all need to get up on that, man. That's that corned beef, man. Yeah, man. Flat cut corned beef brisket, man. Y'all know what it is, man. It's going down, man. You know, got the um beef broth. You know, got the cow flour, got the carrots, got the onion, got the baby red potatoes on deck. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what's going on, man. Y'all know what's going on, but yeah, y'all know what's going on. <laughs> but I haven't started on that yet, but that's going to be getting taken care of soon. What is it now? <laughs> fucking phone is slow as shit, man. What the fuck just hit me up? My shit just went down. But um, I'm about to jump off here, um, y'all. Um, these groceries should be coming through here in a little bit. So. Why my shit just went down? That's crazy, my shit just went down. And, and when it goes down, it means it's from Facebook Messenger. What our boy say, $73 and some change. All right, y'all got to go grocery, so holla at y'all boys.